Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain model showcase. This time I have some World War II Russian tanks for the game Bolt Action. These models are from Warlord Games. I have painted them in a uh, winter whitewash camo scheme, done some uh, rust effects and grime streaking, picked out all the details on the tanks, uh, muddied up the tracks, as requested by the client and there are two tank commanders there's this guy with the binoculars and the flag and there's that guy pointing back there and inside this uh, I think it's a self-propelled gun um, there are two loaders or two guys working together loading the gun um, I'm unsure what everything is this is obviously this is some anti-tank gun this is an armored car of some sort no clue what that guy is no, that's some type of self-propelled gun. That guy and the far left guy are uh, T-34 85s, I think. The 85mm gun on them. I only know that because I purchased that model. <laughs> and then that big bubba in the back there is another, uh, I don't know. So I'm going to get these guys all on my spinny guy. So we can check them all out individually and uh, get a closer look at them. So taking a look at this anti-tank gun first, the client requested that it just be painted the Russian green colors. So Vallejo has uh, several different Russian greens. There's a Russian green primer, uh, then just a Russian green uh, color that's lighter. And then I mixed in some lighter greens and airbrushed on a little bit of uh, highlights. I did a little bit of chipping effects and mudded up the wheels and uh, put a little bit of soot on the barrel. Here we got the armored car. Same uh, paint scheme was done for the base green and then I applied a hairspray over top uh, then the white activated the hairspray to uh, remove a little bit of the whitewash effect and then I came in with uh, like I said before the I think it was AK Interactive's grime streaking and rust effects uh, and then did the muddied uh, wheels and undercarriage with uh, a few different pigment powders So this is the tank that I know the name of. This is the T-34-85. I'm pretty sure the 85 was I was told was the size of the barrel on the gun. All these stars are put on with decals and then I came over top again on some of the stars and uh, sponged on some of the uh, first Russian green, not the primer, the next color I put on. Just to give the stars a little bit of chipping and all these pit tanks and were painted the exact same way as the armored car except for they have a few little details like these ones have I think they're tow cables that are strung along the sides of the guy there this is the second of the T-34s this one features a little bit of extra track uh, storage on the front of the tank it also has a tank commander at the top. I researched a little bit of different uh, paint schemes for uh, the uniforms of Russian uh, World War II military guys, uh, and there's quite a quite a variety of different ones um, used. There were uh, white ones, so I just kind of went with uh, a white theme with all the guys. Uh, to go with the winter theme of the whitewash. Here we have the little self-propelled gun. I'm pretty sure it's a self-propelled gun. Uh, there's a difference. Tanks. I think the tank version has just is that the turret. I'm not really sure, but the whole the whole deal is because this guy doesn't have a turret, obviously, and it's open-topped. But there 
are two guys in there and it makes a really cool little piece. It's got a lot of uh, little details. There's a tow cable, I think, is the, the cable that's on there. And then there's a, a shovel and two axes. Then the one guy's loading the gun in there and the other guy's doing whatever. So this is the first of the two bigger tanks. Uh, it's got a short little stubby barrel. It also features the tank commander with uh, the flag and uh, the binoculars. And don't judge me if you know about, like, I put the red shoulder pad little deals on them. I don't know if they were going to be red or not. I just went with the red. I don't know if, I had, if they had red flags. I don't know. Russian things were red, so... I didn't get that far into research, and a lot of the pictures from World War II are in black and white, so it's like, you can get research on, there's definitely uh, ways to do it, but as uh, the client wasn't really requesting full-on accuracy, I just went with uh, what I thought looked good. Oh, the other thing is, unfortunately, this sculpt had a little bit of damage in the track other than like sculpting a hole the piece of track section I couldn't really fix that so boom and here is the last guy this is the big mama I don't I unfortunately don't know the names of all these tanks but yeah this guy is definitely the biggest tank of them all uh, yeah he's quite big uh, got a large barrel on him and some machine gun or something up top there. Uh, I will have still pics of all of these guys up on my Facebook page and a link to that will be in the description. If you are interested in some custom terrain or miniature painting commissions you can email me at info at greenleafterrain.com and I'll get back to you with a quote. For the rest of the year, I have 15% off all commissions that get set up from now on. Well, until the end of the year. And, yeah. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And happy wargaming.